King Charles III of the United Kingdom has bestowed prestigious honours upon his close family members, including Prince William, Duchess Kate, and Duchess Camilla. This decision has raised eyebrows and ignited a debate on the appropriateness of self-awarding honours, revealing the stark juxtaposition between the archaic practices of the monarchy and the modern era in which we live. Hello, welcome to Royal Diaries. Before we continue please subscribe to the channel for more British royal family news. King Charles selects William, Kate, and Camilla for prestigious honours. An examination of royal self-awarding and its controversies. With a touch of irony, King Charles III has named Camilla the Grand Master of the Order of the British Empire. However, one might question the relevance of such an honour in contemporary times as comedian Ronnie Barker humorously quipped years ago that the British Empire had dwindled to the tiny islet of Rockall. The choice of this title seems to evoke a sense of nostalgia rather than a reflection of the present reality. Similarly, Kate has been awarded the title of Companion of Honour, an accolade traditionally reserved for individuals who have excelled in the fields of arts, sciences, and medicine. This raises speculation about the nature of her achievement, leading some to playfully wonder if it pertains to her creative prowess in doctoring photographs rather than her contributions to these esteemed domains. The Duchess of Gloucester, a lesser-known figure in the public eye, has been designated a member of the Order of the Garter. This particular order, established by King Charles in 1348, was historically used as a means to reward court favourites, even at a time when the Black Death ravaged the general population beyond the palace walls. The irony of such an archaic honour being bestowed in modern times is difficult to overlook. Prince William, not to be excluded in this self-awarding extravaganza, has been crowned the great master of the Order of the Bath. However, the scepticism surrounding this decision arises from the fact that it appears to be nothing more than a symbolic gesture that won't wash away the criticisms of nepotism and self-indulgence. The absurdity of these self-awarded honours is further compounded by the notion that the royal family can bestow medals upon themselves with a straight face. The royal family order, for instance, is bestowed upon female members of the royal family merely for being born or marrying into the family, thereby setting a rather low bar for recognition. Additionally, the accumulation of military honours and decorations by the royal family, including Charles himself, who boasts dozens of medals, raises questions about the basis of their military service and acts of bravery. While Charles did captain a coastal minesweeper briefly and experienced a single plane crash, it is difficult to equate these achievements with the plethora of medals adorning his chest. This recent display of self-awarding honours not only portrays the royal family in a ridiculous and self-serving light but also highlights the deep-rooted imperial nature of the monarchy, which remains disconnected from the realities of modern Britain. Moreover, the practice of self-awarding high honours to undeserving recipients devalues the significance of these distinctions and undermines the recognition rightfully earned by individuals who have demonstrated outstanding bravery and achievement. The honours system, originating in 1348, was initially intended as a means of patronage. However, the blatant corruption of this system by the royals themselves sets a precedent that trickles down to lower levels of society, where prime ministers bestow life peerages and knighthoods upon their allies and those who have made substantial financial contributions to their political parties. Consequently, the ideal of meritocracy is eroded, and those who genuinely deserve recognition for their exceptional achievements are overshadowed by the trivial, the corrupt, and the absurd. In conclusion, the recent self-awarding of honours to members of the royal family by King Charles III has ignited a controversy surrounding the appropriateness of such actions. The laughter and tears evoked by this decision reflect the contrasting perspectives on the role of the monarchy in modern society.
While some may see it as a gesture of support for those fulfilling official duties during a challenging period, others perceive it as a glaring example of nepotism and self-indulgence. The broader implications of this act extend beyond the royal family itself, exposing the flaws of the honor system and the need for a more genuine recognition of outstanding achievements in society. King Charles III of the United Kingdom has surprised many by awarding prestigious honours to his close family members, including Prince William, Duchess Kate and Duchess Camilla. This decision has sparked a debate on whether self-awarding honours is appropriate, highlighting the contrast between outdated monarchy practices and the modern era. Camilla has been named the Grand Master of the Order of the British Empire a title that may seem nostalgic rather than relevant in today's world. Kate has received the title of Companion of Honor, traditionally given to those excelling in arts, sciences, and medicine, leading to speculation about the nature of her achievement. The Duchess of Gloucester has been designated a member of the Order of the Garter, an archaic honor established in 1348. Prince William has been crowned the great master of the Order of the Bath, but skepticism surrounds this decision as it appears symbolic rather than substantive. The self-awarding of honours by the royal family is seen as absurd, especially considering the low bar set for recognition in the royal family order. The accumulation of military honours by the royal family raises questions about the basis of their military service and acts of bravery. This display of self-awarding honours reflects a disconnect from modern Britain and devalues the significance of these distinctions. The honour system, initially meant for patronage, has been corrupted by the royals themselves, setting a precedent for similar actions in lower levels of society. This undermines the concept of meritocracy and overshadows those who genuinely deserve recognition for their achievements. King Charles III's recent self-awarding of honours to family members has sparked controversy. The differing perspectives on the monarchy's role in modern society range from seeing it as support for official duties to viewing it as nepotism and self-indulgence. This act exposes flaws in the honours system and the need for genuine recognition of outstanding achievements. King Charles III of the United Kingdom has surprised the public by granting prestigious honours to his close relatives, including Prince William, Duchess Kate and Duchess Camilla. This decision has ignited a debate about the appropriateness of self-awarding honours, highlighting the clash between outdated monarchy traditions and the contemporary era. Camilla has been appointed as the Grand Master of the Order of the British Empire, a title that may evoke a sense of nostalgia rather than relevance in today's world. Kate has been bestowed with the Companion of Honor title, typically reserved for individuals who excel in the arts, sciences, and medicine, leading to speculation about the nature of her achievement. The Duchess of Gloucester has been designated as a member of the Order of the Garter, an ancient honor established in 1348. Prince William has been enthroned as the great master of the Order of the Bath, although skepticism surrounds this decision as it seems to hold symbolic rather than substantive value. The act of self-awarding honours by the royal family is widely regarded as absurd, particularly due to the low standards set for recognition in the royal family order. The royal family's accumulation of military honours raises questions about the basis of their military service and acts of bravery. This display of self-awarding honours reflects a disconnection from modern Britain and diminishes the significance of these distinctions. The honours system, originally intended for patronage, has been corrupted by the royals themselves, establishing a precedent for similar actions at lower levels of society. This undermines the concept of meritocracy and overshadows individuals who genuinely deserve recognition for their accomplishments. In conclusion, King Charles III's recent self-awarding of honours to family members has sparked controversy. Opinions on the role of the monarchy in modern society range from perceiving it as support for official duties to viewing it as nepotism and self-indulgence.
This act exposes flaws in the honor system and underscores the necessity for authentic recognition of exceptional achievements. Thanks for watching till the end. Please don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more updates.